with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. They've lost their last three games, and guys, they like that streak to end tonight here. Yeah, and guys, it's difficult with the job that's ahead of them. Anytime a team gets into a funk like the one they're in, getting out of it is really difficult. They, they seem to be a little bit scattered to me here of late, and I like to see them just come up with a definite plan and, and, and stick to that script. So the opening lineup for the Heat, Jimmy Butler is out there with Davis. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's none in at the point. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go from deep. Can't hit that one. And Baltimore going the other way now. And Cousins kicks the ball. Midway through the season, are teams, Brent, still trying to find their identity and evolve, or is it just a matter of building on what you've already got? I think at this point, you already know what you got, Kevin, and so what you want to do, I want to be the best at what it is that I can do, and that's where I think coaching staffs are focused right now. Here's none. Michael Porter making his last shot. None with it, and it's blocked. First quarter just over a minute played. A three from Bogdanovich. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Great strides in honing in his shot, looking more and more comfortable on the offensive end is Bogdanovich. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Autobio. And the rejection by Cousins. And a wide open look for Porter. Miami grabs the miss. Coming off that loss against the Nets. Poor execution in that one. Not sure what led to the lack of focus, but coaching staff definitely not happy. And, and they made some comments themselves that some of the fault might have lied with them because they didn't go in with the best of game plans and they didn't make the right adjustments. So we'll see tonight if they do. Here's the break. Here's Butler. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. I think he's just going to get more and more confident from behind the arc and become a more consistent scorer in this league as time goes by. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Butler finds none. Back to Butler. Outside Hardaway. Five on the clock. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Baltimore leading by eight. Quarter outside. And Baltimore hits a kid from deep. This looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowed. Outside Butler. Pass to Davis. Outside Hardaway. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Mano e mano. This is where it can get a little personal. Yeah, again, you can't take this too far to make it too selfish, but that exchange, that's fun to watch. 
now. Here's Bogdanovich. Six points for him. Porter looking it over. In transition, here comes Miami. Butler with the ball. That one drops for him. Yeah, pretty good show of strength there by Jimmy Butler, able to convert even after the hit. And, Bones, when you look at Jimmy Butler's elite impact at both ends, you could argue he's the best two-way shooting guard in the NBA. Clay Thompson might have something to say about that, G.A., but certainly Jimmy Butler and his physical presence allows him to play a multitude of positions. So sliding down to the three and getting physical is something that Jimmy will do. We know that he'll take on any assignment and compete with it. Jimmy Butler's just one of those guys that coaching staff and players admire just how competitive he is on a daily basis. Now, here's Ball. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And Cousins kicks to Ball. 13 feet away. No good from Cousins. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Baron. And finished off by Porter. And Porter has such great athleticism, able to get up and throw it down. The Heat trail by seven. Outside Hardaway. Pass to none. Over ball. And again, it's the Heat missing. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. No good on the three. And here's Miami. Here's Butler. Nails the 16-footer. Butler's got five now. Well, Jimmy Butler's playing the smart game right here. Patient and disciplined. And that's a nice mid-range jumper. Loads it up for Cousins. It's stolen by Davis. To the middle. Here's Hardaway. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Bogdanovich has got four rebounds in this game. Takes the three. That shot missing. Now the Heat take it the other way. Passes it to Hardaway. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And it's Davis with the jam. Great work by the team there to find AD. They make eye contact, and the rest of that is history. Outside, Porter. The pass to Bell. Pass to Cousins. Shot clock at six. Over Davis, and Davis sends it back. Love that D from Davis, rises up and swats that shot away. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And he's all over that shot, has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. And some changes here for the Barons. Bobby Portis has checked in for Bell. And Monte Morris subbed in for Bogdanovich. And Miami also making a switch. Robinson's checked in. Pass to Davis. Outside Robinson. Porter against Butler. Baltimore leading by three. High post try. Robinson with the block. Stolen by Robinson. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And he lays that one in. Great effort and gets in a little razzle-dazzle at the end of that one. Yeah, why not? Show a little creativity, get inside, move that ball around, just make sure you score. So timeout called here, the first for the Barons. No doubt, Greg, you were known being a gritty, in-your-face defender. And when you think of the most hard-nosed point guards in the NBA today, who comes to mind? For me, I think Chris Paul... 
I'd, I'd go first because this guy, one, he's a phenomenal two-way player. He'll do whatever it takes to win, if, even if that means pushing the envelope a little bit. Pat Beverly is another guy, yes. just a flat-out bulldog. Marcus Smart, I think, falls into that category. Again, it's not always about being the most talented, but if you bring an edge about you, that really permeates throughout your team. So those are some guys. Drew Holiday is another guy I'd throw mm -hmm. into that mix as well. Yeah, they all lock in. You're right. Baltimore making a switch here. Obie's checked in. Got a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Jimmy Butler. Outside ball. Baltimore moving that ball around. And it's out of bounds. The Barons able to retain possession here. Martin's checked in for Baltimore. Jacob Evans comes in for ball. Martin, the pass to Roby. Sweet little floater. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. The Heat trail by three. None looking around. Adebayo down low. Evans is there. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And some changes here for the Heat. Jay Crowder comes in for Butler. And Turner's subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. Baltimore leading by three. Now, here is Morris. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Turner against Morris. And it's Turner off the drive. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. And a nice job, Evan Turner, slowing down, drawing the body contact, and now finding a chance for the end one. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. The Heat making a switch here. Herning Gomez is checked in. Turner no good on the free throw. That's what we saw with Evan Turner before he joined this ball club was the ability to play multiple positions, and he's so versatile. He can do a little bit of everything, run the team through him, and also be an off-the-ball scorer. And here is Turner. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. When you give Anthony Davis those kind of looks, he's going to make you pay. And it's Evans with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Barons. Lock at six. Here's Morris. And it's sent back by Turner. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Miami trailing. Now Robinson. Outside Turner. Outside Davis. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Turner looking around. And there's
catches the pass to Hernan Gomez. Back to Turner. Pocket four. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Evans passes to Martin. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. It's not with extreme athleticism that really gets to that shot, but the anticipation and the timing, those help. Here's Portis. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Knocked away. It's stolen by Davis. And now here comes Robinson leading the break. Here's the three. The Heat with a fresh 14. Here's Morris. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Outside Crowder. to Robinson and again it's the heat missing that's one he knows he should have drained Evans left side misses and the dry spell continues outside Turner wants to get it to Robinson and does and it's Baltimore on the break Martin with it now guarded by Crowder and it's Martin missing. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Now here's Crowder. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Morris. Outside, Martin shoots a three. Crowder pulls it in. Well, he's just really struggling right now. And with everything he's throwing up, nothing really helping out in terms of his confidence. I mean, these ones aren't even close. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. What you love about Crowder, he gives you a little bit of everything at both ends. I mean, defensively, he'll take on anybody. He's smart, draws a lot of charges. Offensively, he can stretch the floor, and he'll make the extra pass. He's also an opportunistic rebounder. That one drops. He ties it up. One falls, and that puts him up by one point. Last outing for the Barons, it was a loss to Port. 131 left in the first quarter of the game. Knocked loose. It's Martin on the wing, defended by Crowder. And out of bounds as the Heat gained possession. One twenty-one left here in the opening quarter. And Turner kicks to Hernan Gomez. Knocked away. It's stolen by Martin. And it's Baltimore on the break. Out to Morris. Evans against Robinson. They could use a bucket. And it's Evans missing. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. And it's sent back by Morris. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Morris. <laughs> 51 seconds left in the first. It's Crowder on the wing, covered by Martin. Davis kicks to Crowder. Just five on the clock. That one goes in. 
here's Evans. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Pass to Portis. Morris inside. Turner covering. Robinson with the block. Ball is out of bounds. The Barons able to retain possession here. Bogdanovich is checked in for Martin. Heat also with the sub. Hardaway is checked in. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the first. Five to shoot. Here's Portis. Yes, and a nice assist from Evans. Portis has got the game tied up here for the Barons. Remember when big men shooting threes were as rare as a Sasquatch, and now those big guys are everywhere. Here's Hardaway. It's blocked. First quarter wrapping up here, and Clark, it's a tie ball game. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far, guys, from the Barons. Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, that's the kind of thing that happens. Hardaway has gone only one of five shooting from the floor. Evans out there with Monte Morris. Then there's Bobby Portis. Then there's Bogdanovich. And it's Bell in at the center. And for Miami, they've got Robinson. Hardaway is out there with Evan Turner. Then there's Hernan Gomez. And it's Crowder in at the four slot. Now here's Bogdanovich after the miss from Evan Turner. Stolen by Robinson. Here's Turner. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Bobby Portis. Turner actively looking to get to the free throw line and can be physical down there with that wide frame of his drawing contact. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. First one at the line is good. You know, winning that championship as you did, Greg, for UNLV, many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, hmm. It was pretty <laughs> hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, I my was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was wired wow. shut for eight weeks. Didn't miss a game, but I tell you what. I don't know if I would do that today, but, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship. As I recall, you broke it against Fresno State, correct? Yes, yeah, got my legs taken out uh, from oh. under me and broke the fall with my mm. face. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Now here is Hardaway. Six to shoot. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. Yeah, whenever he's got a little room, if the ball's in his hands, Hardaway Jr. looking to score. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. And the wide open shot from Evan. And the three off target. Evans against Crowder. Turner passes to Hernan Gomez. The dish to Hardaway. Out to Turner. Fires the three. Hardaway, no good. And his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. That's it, and the Miami lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Evans. I mean, with just how dominant he can be scoring inside and outside, 
To have that kind of vision, wow. A complete center. Now a timeout called by Miami. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Baheed also changing it up. Bam Adebayo is checked in for Hernan Gomez. Butler comes in for Robinson. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Turner. Now, here's Nunn. No points in the game yet for him. And Crowder slams it in. And there is some intelligence behind the passing of Adebayo. Not flashy, but making smart ones. Pass to Bell. And here is Cousins. Defended by none. Oh, that's blocked. Here's Butler. Ball with the rebound. Baltimore trails by three. Here's Bogdanovich. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Bogdanovich has got his third basket of the night right there. Well, Bogdanovich showing he's got speed out on the wing and running hard to fill the lane. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Heat on offense. Outer dishes to Butler. Hardaway against Porter. Butler, good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Butler's got the lead up to three now for Miami. So many different offenses that Tim Hardaway Jr. has played in. But he's trying to improve in his on-court awareness. A good show of it there. Going to the rack with energy in the D. Afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Now, there's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. tied up with that one and Bogdanovich has raised a lot of eyebrows with his consistent play over the past couple seasons he can really be a spark plug for your ball club as he's able to knock down threes and produce points in a hurry and so it's ball with it he brings it up for the Barons Porter no luck he's going to be shaking his head on that one knows he missed an easy one yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Bogdanovich looking around. Hits it from three-point range. Bogdanovich has got eight points in the quarter. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Butler kicks to nine. Passes it to Autobio. Back to Nunn. Latrey, good on the triple. Nunn's got it all tied up now for Miami. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Here's Bogdanovich. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Bogdanovich has got 16. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Butler against Porter. And Adebayo throws it down. Bam grabs the board, and then Bam knows what to do. So it's the Barons now. Here's Ball. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. They get it again. 
Here's Cousins. Makes it off the glass. And the Barons lead by two. I mean, one guy who's still dominating the inside, DeMarcus Cousins, a great rebounder and a great scorer. That time, a second chance, cashing in. Now here is Hardaway. He's got five. The shot will not fall. Ready by Bogdanovich. And Porter, here we go. Some solid defense from Butler. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Crowder, the pass to Butler, and stolen by Cousins. Ball with it, in the corner, Bell with it. That's where you appreciate the physical play that DeMarcus Cousins brings to the game every night, willing to take the contact there even while he's shooting. Baltimore shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Shooting two. Shooting two. And he makes the first. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can, it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how about Kobe going to the Lakers. Uh, Mikhail and Paris coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit. And, and I tell you what, boy, it, it can really transform a franchise's future. None kicks to Adebayo. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Pocket six. High post shot. Nice spin off the left rim and in. None's got five points now in the quarter. Solid passer for a two-guard. Tim Hardaway Jr. is all about doing what's best for his team. Ball, the pass to Cousins. Got a piece of it, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hardaway. Here's what Miami has lined up on their schedule. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the San Antonio Spurs. And then on Friday... They'll be facing Steven Adams and the New Orleans Pelicans. And it's going to be home game after home game after home game for this group. So they got a great chance to string together a number of wins given how strong they've been playing. Butler on the way over Martin. Trying to get open as Davis kept alive. And Davis throws it down. Yeah, to look at the frame of A.D. when he came into the league as opposed to it is now. He's so much more tough and more physical and doesn't mind the contact. Now, here's Cousins. Back to ball. They get a hand on it, and it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. And the Heat making a change here. Robinson's checked in. So it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for Miami. Now, here's none. He's got five. Outside Butler. Kicks to Robinson. Shot clock at six. None against Ball. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. None's gone two of six here tonight from the field. None against Ball. A shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. And Butler, here we go. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Jimmy Butler not going to back down in that situation, just inviting some contact. Miami shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. First one falls for, for Baltimore. 
Jacob Evans comes in for Porter. And Monte Morris subbed in for Ball. Good on both. So it's the Barons now. Morris looking over the floor. Inside, Portis. He can't get it to go. Great tee that time from Adebayo. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. That one a little long. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Here's Portis. Money from the wing. Portis has got his second bucket tonight. They're loving the confidence. Just rise and be free. And you know you can do this. There's something to be said about knowing yourself. It allows him to shoot and shoot comfortably, even with taller defenders out there. Now here's Butler. He's got nine. And that one, good. Butler's got the game tied up here for the Heat. This is feeling a little bit too easy right now for Jimmy Butler out there. Poke loose. Now the pass to Autobio. Pass to Butler. Here's none. Six on the shot clock. And it's tonight. Morris against Adebayo. And they pick up two. Morris has got his second basket of the game. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react. And that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Now here is Robinson. Outside Butler. Second chance effort. Baltimore with the rebound. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Morris against Davis. Morris passes to Fortis. Evans against Robinson. Shoots it. And Baltimore again with the bucket. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Pass to Autobio. One twenty-two left in the first half of the game. It's Davis with the drop. And finished off by Davis. Great decision by A.D. there to charge towards the basket and finish the shot around the defense. And Bam Adebayo has a chance to be a very good interior defender. The way he moves his feet, and because he's so physical, he's a presence down there. And the wide-open shot for Morris. Trains the three-pointer. Morris has got seven points in the game. Shooting it with more confidence now. Look at his face. He didn't look quite right in the opening minutes. Finding it now. And with that shot, the Baron lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Anthony Davis. Very few players as good as Anthony Davis is on the inside. Just great footwork. And he's adding more and more to his postgame. Pass to Roby. 35 seconds left now here in the second. He kicks it to Evans. Over Butler. And it's Evans missing. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. And here's none. He's got five. Down low. Here's Davis. Crafty move. Misses at the rim. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. 
well for Baltimore. Kenny, give us your take. Well, they were consistent from downtown. The playmakers found open shooters, and the shooters delivered and knocked down shots on a high level. In some ways, it came down to confidence. We'll see if they have that same swagger in the second half. Shaq, let's get your insight on Miami. It's the work they've done in the paint that's impressed me the most. A lot of their points have come from the inside. They need to keep that production in the post coming in the second half. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. We saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Bogdan Bogdanovich really making a difference here. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. Yeah, you would hope the defense at least would start to consider creeping up on him just a little bit. Baltimore leading by three. We've got DeMarcus Cousins all out there with Bogdanovich. Then it's Michael Porter, and it's Bell in at the five down low. Now here is Bell. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Adebayo. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Heat, we've got Kendrick Nunn. Anthony Davis is out there with Adebayo. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Butler in at the three slot. Here is Bell after the Heat pick up two. Stolen by none. Outside Hardaway. Miami with a new 14. Bell with the block. At a young age, Bell has proven to be a great shot blocker with tremendous timing. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And you can see the mindset he has. When the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. Here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. It's tipped. Four on three as they bring it up. Butler from outside. Sinks the three-pointer. Now it's a four-point heat lead. Well, Butler feels like he can take and make just about any shot that he wants. What great confidence on display. Ball against none. The drive by ball. And sometimes as a point guard, you got to take things into your own hand. Yeah, right. It's okay to be selfish when you have a chance like that. Well, if he's calling his own number, there's a reason for it. There you respect the decision-making from him out there. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Right wing. Here's Cousins. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And I know they don't really want him to walk in there, but there's got to be some resistance on Cousins when he gets positioned that deep. Baltimore shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. First free throw is good. Cousins becoming more focused at being a better passer and a more efficient shooter, improving some of the aspects of his game that have made him an all-star in the NBA. He's perfect from the line this time. Two minutes into the second half of play now. The Heat with the lead. And the pass to none. Back to Hardaway. Looking to get it go. Oh, that was huge! Incredible. Whew. Tim Hardaway Jr. up and at it that time. 
they've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Cousins, and Davis sends it back. Pass to Butler, and here we go. Butler heading to the hoop. You have to really like his energy getting to the rim there. Shocked that he blew the dunk, but you know most times he's going to posterize his man. Bogdanovich, no luck. Miami leading by four. Hardaway for three. Baltimore with the rebound. Balls got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside Porter. Outside Bogdanovich. Poked away. Six to shoot. And it's going to be out of bounds. Baltimore will retain possession. And the Heat with some changes. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Otto Bio. Jay Crowder comes in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Turner in for Kendrick Nunn. Here's Bogdanovich. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. Bogdanovich has got 18 points in the game. And you might very well see some more parts of Bogdanovich's game with a night like this. And the call will be against LaMelo Ball. That is his first foul of the game. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Here's Turner. Versatility is the thing in the NBA, and Bell is so dependable at guarding multiple positions. Bogdanovich, no luck. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for Miami. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. They break it out. Five on three. Bogdanovich wide open. And it's Bogdanovich again missing. And here's the fast break. Davis leading the way. Porter with a block. And, you know, as he learns the game at this level, he's going to block more shots. Porter has the length and the ability to move his feet. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. And Baltimore calls time here. Well, they've been turning that ball over way too much, and they really need to address this if they want to win this game. Huddle up, boys. Bogdanovich finds ball for three. Again, the miss by Baltimore. Miami leading by four. Outside Hardaway. Here's Turner. No good there. And Baltimore going the other way now. Pass to Cousins. It's a very good look and converts. Cousins has got eight points. Porter Jr. moving the ball well. Nice to have a wing player help to be a facilitator. And Turner kicks to Hardaway. And it's blocked. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. Baltimore making a switch here. Evans has checked in. Off the inbound pass. Baltimore with the rebound. 
Cousins has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. That ties it up. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Ball against Turner. And it's blocked. Porter against Turner. And it's Evans missing. Heat on offense. It's Crowder on the wing. He's covered by ball. Turner passes to Hernan Gomez. Kicks it to Hardaway. On the wing, Turner. Three on the clock. Shoots over ball. Again, the miss by the Heat. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set where they're allowing him to settle in. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Hardaway. And here's Miami. Now Robinson over in the corner. Turner passes to Hernan Gomez. Back to Turner. Shoots over ball. Roby with the rebound. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Jimmy Butler. And maybe it's shocking. Maybe, no, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Morris is checked in for ball. Both shots good from the strike. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Here's Davis, the dunk, and the foul, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's on Bobby Portis. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite-level defender, guards multiple positions, and turns away a number of shots. And that one falls for Davis. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up, playing vertical. Gets blocks, but doesn't get pulled out of position does everything you want from a defensive anchor. Crowder inside. He's against Morris. And Turner kicks to Crowder. Shot clock at five. Here's Morris. He has seven. The pass to Portis. Back to Morris. Fires from deep. Drains it from beyond the arc. Morris has got 10 points in the game. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Roby, defended by Crowder. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam, using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. Morris against Turner. Has 
to Robinson. Now Davis. Out to Turner. Good ball movement here by Miami. Robinson misses. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Pass to Portis. Morris against Robinson. Count it, and the foul. Maybe it's going to be on Jay Crowder. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. For Baltimore, they have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for the Heat. Free throw good for Morris. The Heat trail by five. Here's none. He's got seven. Dishes to Robinson. He kicks it to Crowder. Morris with the block. And he gets it back. None. That's good. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Baltimore leading by three. Morris with the ball. He's got 13. Roby the pass to Bell. Morris outside. Launches it. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Now here's none. Nine points in the game so far. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Bobby Portis. Great understanding by Davis to sense the foul coming, but also get the shot off as well. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And they have really leaned on his free throw shooting at times this season. He's been there for them, too, with 88% from Take the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one falls for Anthony Davis. Well, AD is such a soft-spoken guy. He does a lot of work in the offseason to improve every facet of his game and then steps in with tremendous confidence every season to show off all the hard work that he's put in. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Bam out of Iowa comes in for Hernan Gomez. And it's Jimmy Butler in for Crowder. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. It, it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Here's Roby. He's got six. Passes it to Bell. Here's Morris. Bell trying to break loose. Offensive rebound. None against Morris. Evans outside. Down to five on the shot clock. But three... None grabs the board. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Yeah, we've played this record before as AD is getting on a roll here and carrying his team on the offensive end. There's 154 left in the third quarter of the game. And Bell kicks to Portis. Evans outside. Over Butler. Again, the miss by Baltimore. The Heat with the lead. The pass to Robinson. None with it. There's 126 left to play in the third. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. Here's Bell, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Well, a menace in the paint. Once Jordan Bell establishes some position down there, it puts the defense in a tough spot. For Baltimore, they have been a perfect 8-of-8 eight eight at the line. A 
Off free throw drops for Bell. Jordan Bell's just got to combine a little bit of smarts with all that hustle and activity. Bogdanovich is checked in for Baltimore. So Bell nails both of them. And Nunn has got the ball here for the Miami Heat. They trail by one. And Davis puts it in. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Evans outside. 52 seconds left in the third. Great tee that time from Davis. And here's none. Nine points in the game so far. Evans against Robinson. To the wing right side. The Heat need to get a shot off. Trying to get open is Adebayo. And, and another great rebound there. I mean, he's pulled down a ton of them. And, and the size issue has not been a problem here today. And he's getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. Now Morris, 13 points in the game. Over to the left wing. Here's Cousins, and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Cousins has got six points in the quarter. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Barons lead by one. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Doesn't happen with every point guard in the league as far as setting your teammates up. Lots more scores now, but right there creating the scoring opportunity for his teammate. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Porter is out there with Bogdanovich. Then there's Monte Morris. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. And it's Vaughn in at the shooting guard position. Now here is Davis. Shoots from the high post. Baltimore with the rebound. Bogdanovich has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Porter. The teardrop falls in. Porter's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Baltimore. The Heat trail by three. Here's none. Pass to Autobio. Oats it up for Davis. And good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. Morris dishes to Bogdanovich. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Out left to the wing. Paul with a wide open look. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Well, Bogdanovich would prefer to shoot it, but teammates so wide open had to give it up. Butler on the wing. And it's blocked, and he's able to get it back. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. And Paul slams it in. And there is no better way to end to the lead. Isn't that true, G.A., especially when the slam is coming from the point guard? Oh, yeah, and his teammates love that one. I'm sure he's going to hear about it when he gets to the huddle. And Miami has possession following the bucket by Baltimore. And it's Butler missing. Well, he's using the force, but in the worst way possible right now. He just needs to dial it back and look to work the ball around the floor to his teammates. He was terrific shooting the ball in the first half, but he looks a little bit slower out there Possibly leg tired here in the second half. Now, here's none. Outside for Robinson. Shoots over ball. 
Again, the miss by the Heat. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Morris with the ball. Robinson picks him up, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Duncan Robinson. That is his first foul of the game. And the Barons making a change here. Portis is checked in, and Miami also making a switch. Tim Hardaway Jr. is checked in for Duncan Robinson. Now, here's Cousins. Outside, Porter lets the three fly. Again, the miss by Baltimore. And so it's none with it. He brings it up for the Miami Heat. It's a five-point game. Well, Jimmy Butler has that kind of room, and he's going to throw it down. Ball with it. Outside Portis, and Kendrick Nunn is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Nunn against Ball. Teardrop shot, and that's two points on the layup. And the Barons lead by five. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Now, here's none. Hardaway finds Butler. Shot clock at six. And here's Davis for three. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And what a play. Just snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Right side Hardaway. And that one falls coming off of Davis's speed. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. And Baltimore calls time here. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. update here so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks Kevin. Baltimore's head coach talked to his team during the timeout. With this game still up for grabs he told his team hey we're in position to take this one guys. Let's stay focused and stay together and we'll get it done. We'll see how it plays out Kevin. Now here's Davis following the miss by DeMarcus Cousins. And it's Davis finishing it off. Whenever AD is floating around the basket like he was there, you know if he gets the ball, he's going to go for the jam. Ball kicks to Portis. Baltimore moving that ball around. Oh my goodness. Say, save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Miami trailer. Now, here's none. Pass to Autobio. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Porter. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got four assists in the game. Well, you know, Porter can expect this. Defenses are going to try to be physical with him, try to get in his head. And the call will be against Lamelo Ball. That's foul number two for him. None finds Butler. Oh, 
to the paint. Here's Adebayo. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one on Porter. And every bit of the body control right there for Adebayo out there going right through the contact. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. free throw is good now leading by one and the auto bio experiment has been pretty awesome to watch just because it's gone nuclear all the skills and his hard work paying off now right side Butler and that one clearly a foul gets the whistle and two shots coming up that one on Porter no, I tell you what he earned his money on that foul Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. misses so he splits the free throws well I mean a semi-productive trip to the free throw line but we'll see whether or not it costs him Cousins the pass to ball Cousins against Butler and Cousins gets it to go well, there's a lot of moves that Cousins can go with on the inside if he doesn't back you down he's got a fade away and a step back tough to guard on the interior now here's none and the rejection by Cousins. High arcing shot, and they get it back. And that one is off. Hardaway with it. Out guarded by Bogdanovich. He's a decent scorer, and Hardaway can get it going, so he draws defenders' attention and gets the call that time. Shooting two. And the first one drops. A fearless shooter and a remarkable dunker. Tim Hardaway Jr. is such a valuable rotation guy that you just want to have consistent effort from. And I think he's reaching that level now. Baltimore making a switch here. Bell's checked in. Both good from the line that time. And here is Ball. And Kendrick Nunn is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Side ball. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. Are we sure that's the same player, guys? He looks completely different. What confidence he's playing with, and look how engaged he is on both ends. And the Heat call time here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track.
present our New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. And they double up Davis. Here's Autobio. No good on the shot. Good D by Bell. Here's Ball. Here's Porter. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And none has got the ball here for Miami. Shoots over Cousins. Miami no good on that time either. Hard away against Bogdanovich. Great D that time from Adebayo. Just not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And so Butler nails both of them. And that puts him right around 90 from the free throw line. Really good work here in the second half. Passes it to Cousins. Tipped away. It's stolen by Davis. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And one difference this half is that when they get to the line, they're converting. Shooting two. That free throw good from Butler. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And they're doing a very good job at the line this half. Ball feeling it out a bit. Floats it up for Cousins. Nunn grabs the board. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He goes, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Here's Ball. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. Here's Cousins. Back to ball. And Cousins kicks to Bogdanovich. Just four to shoot. Again, the miss by Baltimore. I saw a green light there. But he's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Now, here's Ball. Here's the pass to Bogdanovich. Over Butler. The Barons keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. It's blocked, but they recover it. Side ball near the three point line. It's Porter. Here's Cousins, and Cousins throws it down. Cousins does not mess around in the post when he's got that kind of positioning, he's gonna ram it home. 
None passes to Autobio. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. Shooting two. Throw good out of bio. Morris is checked in for ball. <laughs> and out of bio. Drops them both. Baltimore trails by eight. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Timeout called the Barons. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. None against Morris. And they double up Cousins. The shot's good. I mean, could we say he was playing possum a bit there in the first half? Because it seems to be a different guy out there, way more assertive. None against Morris. Adebayo passes to Davis. And here we go. Fast break. Cousins has got it. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That free throw good from Cousins. Both free throws good from Cousins. And good aggressive basketball on that trip. Drawing the foul, converting the free throws, and then also narrowing the gap. That's tipped and stolen by Bogdanovich. Here's Morris. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on Davis. Yeah, easy call. Gets the first, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Yeah. 
He hits both from the strike. And now down to a one possession game. Those foul shots, huge. And none has got the ball here for the Heat. To the middle, here's Davis, and finished off by Davis. Awesome job by AD to get the ball in a favorable spot. That's most anywhere, but comes up big with that basket. Bounce pass from Morris. Davis against Cousins. Outside, Bogdanovich. Just five to shoot. And Adebayo sends it back. And Pam with the emphatic block. The Heat leading by four. 119 left in the fourth quarter. None passes to Davis. In the corner, Hardaway with it. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got his third assist on the night. Well, it's really important for Tim Hardaway Jr. to find some more consistency from the three-point line. Now, here is Morris. Cousins inside. He's guarded by Davis. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Fifty-five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now, none kicks it to Davis. And they double up Davis to the inside. And Adebayo gets it to go on the assist by Davis. Adebayo's got the lead up to nine now for the Heat. You've got no game, Heat! Here's Morris. The kick out to Porter. Back to Morris. Can they get it? Knocks down the three ball. And easy to understand why many believe Porter is the complete package. Skilled at making the correct pass. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's an eight-point game. Maybe at this point, not much of a chance for a comeback. Yeah, you got a better chance of walking through a lion's den with pork chop underwear on. <laughs> Morris, no good. Crowder with it. Pass to none. And so it's Miami winning this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long.